Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Bharat Test Guru. So I have bought another interesting video for you all. It's called One Word Substitution. Uh, as in Anik Shabdo Ke Liye Ek Shabd. So I'm going to cover all the words and I'm going to explain it to you. And this word can be substituted in any sort of sentences. So let's start with this. First is agnostic. Agnostic is one who is not sure about God's existence. Means a person who is agnostic does not believe in God. So thesis is, uh, if you can see, thesis is one who believes in existence of God. Atheist who someone denies the existence of God. Agnostic who one who believes that existence of God can be neither proven or disproven. So there is a difference between agnostic and the difference between atheist. So atheist does not believe God, doesn't believe in God. He denies the existence of God. But agnostic believes, they can, but it cannot be proven. It's like one who believes existence of God can be neither proven or disproven. So he's in someone, uh, somewhere kind of a middle. Uh, so let's go to another word. Atruist. Atruist means a lover of mankind. Means um, this you can see the uh, photo of uh, Mother Teresa. So Mother Teresa has done a lot of things for humanity. There are a lot of big people who has been. Jesus Christ was altruist. All the saints, all the um, good human beings. So altruist who is a lover of mankind. Amateur. Amateur means one who does not have does a thing for pleasure, not for as a profession. Means amateur is in a kind of a unexperienced, who is not very professionally trained, and who uh, does anything for pleasure. For example, um, let's say um, if someone is good in um, cricket, but he plays in a very uh, plays a daily cricket in a club or something, but is he's not um playing for uh, of, for professionally as an, an IPL team or anything so he will be called as amateur so uh, let's move to another word ambidextrous one who can use either hand with ease so if you remember that movie which was three idiots so the role of woman um, irani used to write in both the hands so it's like see uh, it, it's it's like very trained professional can only do it because you if uh, right you're writing from uh, either of the hands that means your mind has to be uh, controlled from the left side also right side also so it's very rare but uh, that is what uh, ambit is ambit textures means an artist an artist one who is out to destroy all the government peace and order so a person like maoist or separatist or terrorist terrorist is like in a, in a higher way but mostly Maoist and all who are running their own sort of revolution against the government they are called anarchist anarchist apostate apostate a person who has changed his faith so if a person is born in some other faith and he later in his life or her life he try, tends to change it he'll be called apostate Arbitrator, a person appointed by two parties to solve a dispute. So a person who is appointed as in uh, generally would be a consultant, would be a basic uh, legal uh, person who tries to, uh, there is a dispute between two parties, try to sort it out, you know, in may, maybe in a mutual conditions. So he'll be called arbitrator. Ascentic means one who leads in austere life. As in, uh, who believes in um, there is a life um, beyond the past. If you know, like Gautam Buddha, and there are a lot of saints, uh, you know, um, Gautam Buddha, I can remember, then they are like, I think Jainis, Jainism also have one, um, Mahavi Jain, and who else is there? Um, there are a lot of people who have gone to... Uh, um, have taken the Vridhashram and then later they have discovered the wisdom. So they are called ascetic. Next word is atheist. So this is, uh, I have covered it already. That means a person who does not believe in God. Mm -hmm. 
bankrupt bankrupt means a person who is unable to pay his debts as in uh, if you are if you are declaring yourself a bankrupt means you don't have enough amount to repay your debt as in like you have zero amount and no amount at all you are like totally broke so that will be a bankrupt so recently um one samita bachan has called himself bankrupt then there was right now uh, this um, vijay malia call himself bankrupt then there was lehman brother during his recession who called him themselves bankrupt so generally it it uh, stating bankrupt situation would be for those people who had debt on them and could not repay them back bigot bigot means one who filled with enthusiasm in religious matter so bigot is see every um, every um, religion teaches you something okay so a bigot would be someone who has um a person who is intolerant intolerant towards those holding different opinions like uh, he'll be always uh, he'll be always will be um, you know a person who is obviously entirely devoted to his own opinions and he'll be free judging and especially like you know if you see this kind of let's say karni sena and all this kind of person they are very entitled and very so headstrong in their own opinion they don't take anything new from others so they are very filled with religious matter in their head they are called bigot like uh, if you have heard about padmavati uh, uh, problem which are banning and all that so karni sena is nothing but bigot because they are so involved in their own thoughts bohemian bohemian a unconventional style of living so that means that means see uh, generally some people would be an uh, native of bohemia a socially unconventional person who is involved who is involved in arts so see there are a lot of uh, people who are related to bohemia they are called this word has been given to other other sort of people also who are socially unconventional person especially are who is involved in arts so it's a practice of a unconventional lifestyle and people generally try to imitate it and they are called bohemians cacographist cacographist one who is bad in spelling so i no need to explain it further person who cannot spell maybe um, they are called cacographist cannibal cannibal a person who feeds on human flesh so uh, if you remember there was a nithari kand happened back 10 to 12 years back and um, that time there was a case of cannibalism and there are a lot of places in the world where i heard that they eat human flesh so uh, cannibalism is is like a person who is eating human flesh i, I know it is illegal but some places very exotic places they are legal carnivorous one who feeds on flesh so it's very basic you might be knowing that herbivores who eats um, herbs and plants and all and carnivorous will be eating flesh like a lion um a lion and who else is there like a tiger who only eat uh fl- um, flesh not plants and all chauvinist chauvinist would be a person um, who is very blindly devoted to an idea I means like um we say generally a person who is saying that a woman who is going out for work and all they are not uh they are not brought up right it's not good for women to go out there and work or it's not right for women to study or it's not right uh, generally women also have tends to have a uh, opinion about men uh, on genders or in religion women also say that a man who is drinking or smoking might be bad so it's like being a chauvinist means you are judging that person or you are blindly devoted in idea so um i think now you can uh, understand what a chauvinist means connoisseur a critical judge of any art and craft so see there are a lot of um, art craft also you can add food food also uh, 
see uh, this they will be a judge and there are a lot of um, art galleries per se and they uh, run they make art and they put it the painting to come and explore it so there are some judges they come and they see the painting and they take nook and corner and they judge on them and then uh, maybe like, you know if if they like the paint the painter becomes very great and very grand so there are a lot of people who does that as professionally they're called concierge contemporaries person living at the same time see contemporary means it can be in a way where uh, uh, how would I tell you um, let me put in contemporary uh, we say contemporary artist if we uh, if you have heard this contemporary artist if you have heard contemporary uh, means it's like fellow means like you or you both are in one type of zone like uh, living or occurring at the same time or belonging or occurring in the present like Maham, I, we can say Narendra Modi and Raha, not Rahul Gandhi yeah Rahul Gandhi Narendra Modi and Rahul Gandhi are contemporaries of um, this political system right now because they are, they are uh, living the same time and they be, may be uh, you know working uh, toward the same agenda or we can also say um, Amitabh Bachchan, Dharmendra, Kuchitin, these all are contemporaries artists because they have, they are being in the same time. But whether, um, you know, someone who is very old, maybe Jinnah and uh, or Mahatma Gandhi, uh, they are contemporaries. But Mahatma Gandhi is not contemporary with Narendra Modi because he is all uh, passed out now. And um, so you can understand it's, it's all about chronology means the same time. Okay, next word is convalescent. I'll, I'll explain it to you. It means one who's risco recovering from uh, recovering health after illness. So, um, a person who is uh, ill for a long time, who has a um, uh, very um, very time spent in uh, treatment or uh, you know uh, medication, and later they are uh, you know they are recovering. They are called uh, convalescent is concute concute it means a girl or a woman who flirts with men so um, as it say it's a French word and it um, it actually mean that uh, a woman when she tries to, um, you know, a flirtatious woman or a typical who is, uh, um, you know, uh, wants to gain attention or uh, wants to gain admiration of men, are called conquest. Cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan means, see, like I can say cosmopolitan, uh, Bangalore is very cosmopolitan city. So, um, cosmopolitan means a person who regards whole world as country means, you can be um, cosmopolitan means like uh, there are a lot of people of different ethnic and different uh, um, different um, you know um, caste and re religion and all that coming together in in a place uh, or I'll shortify like this like you know a uh, familiar and e that many different countries and culture a cosmopolitan person would be someone who is very in ease with many different cultures that will be cosmopolitan so in I am saying Bangalore is cosmopolitan as in like cosmopolitan is very e very uh, accepting of whether you come uh, from anywhere in the world Bangalore is very uh, cosmopolitan in this way they accept and they they ease that process so that that is called cosmopolitan okay this is called Sinosure. So Sinosure means one who is the center of attraction. So person who is uh, a person or a thing, the center of attraction or admiration, it's called Sinosure. Like it can be a person, but it also can be a thing. So let's say if you have gone for an art gallery, but uh, or something, and you see there is a centerpiece which is kept there, or maybe. Uh, 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 the most costlier uh, um, 
painting or jewelry or whatever that is central piece to it because it it is to grab your attention mm -hmm. similarly if you can see the photo people who are dancing in between so their center of the stage to grab your attention so they can't find a shirt cynic it's a very good word i'll tell you cynic is uh, someone who um or cynical or cynic we say the same thing so a person who is motivated purely by self-interest okay and who distrustful of human sincerity and integrity so if i say i'm being cynical means i am not i'm not trusting anybody else than me i'm only uh, i'm only believing that i am right so cynic will be one who sneers a belief of others like he will always doubt uh, on um, like what they want and all debonair debonair means a so very polished and light hearted person so debonair means uh, a man who is confident who is charming who is stylish is called a debonair and uh, there's a perfect picture leonardo di caprio he is a perfect example of confidence stylish and charming Dema George. So Dema George means a leader who sways his follower by his oratory. Means a political leader who seeks support by appealing to pop popular desires or prejudices rather than by rational argument. So um, let's say uh, we all, especially in India, we uh, we are very we have very anti. Uh, we have very nationalism going on right now and we are like we are in like you know always uh, like see if if uh, if a leader uses your uh, how would i put it like i uh, like i'll give you example uh, trump donald trump what did he use he said that he is going to make america immigrant free so americans were basically very uh, very uh, you know stressed out that people of other countries are coming and they are taking their job so on that card only donald trump tried to uh, make them uh, you know agreed that i am when i be uh, the president so there will not be a lot of immigrants coming up so your job will be secure so a leader who uh, seeks the support by appealing to popular desire is called demagogue so he played the card so instead of taking that how is going to make america great he rather chose this uh, this uh, you know discussion to win his uh, argument next is delay tante okay so that's a good one so a pers a dabbler in art science or literature means a person who cultivates in the uh, areas of interest such as art without any real commitment or knowledge means um let's say i am i am not i am not someone who is Uh, graduated in music or something, but I have a really interest. I have an interest in music, let's say, and um, you know I don't want to commit uh, to knowledge, but I have really interest. People who hear, um, like there are ninety percent of people who love music. They have headphones every time they go out, but they are not professional singers or they are not musicians. But they have keen interest in music. They love to listen. They love to, in fact, maybe you know rhyme or sing. So they are called del dilettant. Effeminate, effeminate. So effeminate means a man who is womanish in favor, uh, in be habits. So um means a man who has a typical uh, characteristics as woman are called or unmanly will be effeminate. So you can see feminate, feminine, feminism. feminine so if if affinate means unmanly means a man who has this characteristics of woman egoistic egoist means uh, a person who lover of ones and of ones advancement so a person who only cares about himself or had a lot of pride on them and they love themselves so they are called egoist egotist so there is a, a problem let's see there is a difference between egoist and egotist so that i'm also going to explain it to you 
a person uh, one who often talks his achievements see egoist is someone who takes a pride on himself take his advantage but egoist is someone who boast who excessively conceited and absorbed in themselves self seeker okay they are called egotists so there is a little little uh, maybe a tiny difference between both of the word immigrant immigrant a person who leaves his uh, come uh, country to settle down another like if i am i am a indian if i go from india to some other country I, i'll be a immigrant apicure a uh, uh, one who uh, is for pleasure in eating of drinking so this is see this is very simple example i am going to tell you in a very uh, maybe vast way so a person who takes particular pleasure in fine food and drinking see it means a person who has a uh, you know um who loves to go to this fancy restaurants and like he, he'll be a uh, very um like you know there are a lot of foodies if you see youtube there are a lot of uh, people who go to fine dining and they take the pleasure of maybe different kind of te- techniques or cuisines and all that they are called epicure fast tedious one hard to please fat list one who believes in fate so see um so it's like uh, near nearby uh, um meaning so one hard to please fat list means very attentive to or concerned about accuracy and detail so if a person is fastidious it's very hard for you to make them like you know uh, he'll be very uh, uh, he'll be very uh, up upright on accuracy and detailing so it's very hard for you to make them understand very tiny details and all that so one who is very hard to please so next word is feminist one who works for the welfare of women now it is very popular word feminist so this is feminism or feminist so actually it means that both the genders are equal uh, a person who is working for the welfare of women are called feminist fugitive one who runs away from the justice so if a person is maybe say law wrongly accused or something and he runs away from the justice called fugitive there are a lot of examples in past also who has run away and there will be any number of examples so they are called fugitive okay go uh, go mand go mand so go go mant means i'll tell you it means a person who enjoys eating and often eats too much a lover of good food means a person who is so you have word uh, you have heard that word gome or gomet so these all words are uh, gome means food or go go mant i don't know is it go mant or go mand because uh, they like these all or uh, these all are very ancient word it came from gom uh, gome so uh, it means actually that a person who enjoys good eating or good food and often eats too much so if anybody is watching uh, this um, serial like master chef especially master chef australia if you're watching there will be a lot of in break uh they will be there will be a lot of uh, advertisement on this gome and gomet and gomant so this so so you can uh, you have you'll have a great idea on this I, as i told you gome a connoisseur of food means like it's is um, these two words have come for uh, uh, from the same uh, uh, vocabulary and it it's gomet as i said good food so gomet would be similar to that a connoisseur of food or a patron or a or a you know a person who is having discerning palate like like different different type of foods like you know um uh, if you're going to a plate and there are a lot of gourmet there are a lot of different types of food and connoisseur of food types of food that's called gourmet Henpecked, uh, a husband 
ruled by his wife. So he is called henpecked. Hedonist. Hedonist, one who believes in sensual pleasure, is a chief good. So hedonist was um, in in previous time there was um, it was a religious sort of uh, you know belief. A person who believes that pursuit of pleasure is the most important thing in life, or a pleasure seeker, you can say he's a hedonist. A lot of people, and there was a religion also, which was very specific to this. this ancient religions were very hedonist. Uh, heretotic means one who acts against religion. So, um, you know, if you are following some religion, it can be to any religion. And if you act against a religion, then like recently there was a beef ban because Hindus don't eat beef. If any Hindu eat beef, means he is doing herototic. Herototic means he is acting against his religion. Herbivorous, I told you, one who lives on herbs, or he herbs like a goat or buffalo or cow. Honorary, honorary means who is very respected and hold very uh, a, a great uh, you know position without any salary like you know honorary prime minister we say even though prime minister ha holds a salary but it's very minimal uh, despite of the post like a saint or like a like a you know a worker doing something good like say the uh, photo of Mother Teresa was a lot of thing for all the humankind and it's an honorary so we we give our respect as honorary hi bro a person uh, considering himself to be superior in culture and intellect hi bro so uh, a person uh, who has very um, is very um, you know uh, very superior have a lot of superiority complex who thinks that him he is superior uh, in culture and intellect and treat anybody very down, he will be hypo. Hypochondriac, one who is anxious about his health. So if you have seen this movie, uh, Piku, have you seen the Amitabh Bachchan's character? He was always considered about like, you know, uh, am I okay or not? Ask the doctor, come, let me check my BP. Uh, maybe I'm dying and he had this constipation problem so he's that's called hypochondriac so person who is very anxious about his health iconoclast one who breaks the images and traditions so um icono means image in. are you um now now if you have a smartphone with you you'll be using this icons so similarly so I Icon word means images. The iconoclast means breaking the images and tradition. A person who attacks or criticizes cherished beliefs or institution. If you say and that, like you know, if you uh, like, if you are let's say um any religion and if you curse that like this is not right. This this has been followed for such a long time but it's not right that is called an iconoclast means you're breaking and criticizing or attacking your own religion illiterate means one who cannot read or write and uh, we are lucky that nowadays you know illiteracy in india is becoming very less so it's good especially in women immigrant like i said an immigrant that if you are indian you go to other country will be emigrant so for the other countries will be immigrant so person who comes from a country to your own country or his own country for settling impregnable that cannot be entered by force means a place where you cannot enter by any kind of uh, force it's called impregnable excuse me or unable to capture or broken to so we used to say this this old palaces a lot of palaces used to say that we are impregnable because nobody can come and you know maybe attack us or maybe capture this area or broke into a palace so that is called impregnable imposter one who pretends to be somebody else so recently there was a case of Kangana and Riti controversy 
so they were saying that someone is someone was uh, being uh, rithik and trying to mail uh, uh, kangana so he said that there was a imposter who was trying to act like rithik so a person who is somebody else as in like you are trying to like see uh, in a similar way if i am trying to be somebody maybe i like you know act like i am rithik roshan i'm uh, messaging to someone else so i am the imposter so imposter who pretends to be somebody else in def in defect uh, so in defectible means a person who does not tire easy, easily means he is full of energy uh, he is uh, you know he he is not see if you can see if you want to see all the words that have come from and joined together and come uh, in this new word so in fatigue fatigue means you have lot of tiredness in or defi means there is a deficiency of tiredness that means you don't tire easily you are full of energy you are running here and there that is called infatigable introvert one who does not express himself free a person who is introvert who tends to take his all uh, ex uh, image uh, expressions and uh, thinking to himself and is not a good communicator when it comes to his own feeling insolvent a person who is unable to pay his debt there is a difference between insolvent and a bankrupt bankrupt announces himself he is a bankrupt and cannot pay his debt insolvent a person is unable to pay his debt means he is not able to pay bankrupt means he is not able to see bankrupt means he can pay but he doesn't have a money right now he is uh, telling himself i'm bankrupt if i cannot your pay money anymore and person who is unable to pay means he doesn't have money at any time of his life so he cannot pay or he is unable to pay itinerate itinerate means one who uh, journeys from one place to another place see uh, if i have to explore it from if you are traveling from one place to another Uh, or if you um, you are not settling down here, you constantly traveling from one place to you call itinerate. Invincible one is too strong to be defeated. Uh, so there was a song called "I'm Invincible," means I'm too strong to be defeated. So you can say their army is invincible, or um, something the short of sentences you can make. invulnerable invulnerable means one who cannot be harmed vulnerable means being very uh, harmed depressed you know maybe <coughs> excuse me maybe very um emotionally and physically tired and in if you come it will be the opposite of vulnerable means one who cannot be harmed who cannot be uh, physically or mentally or emotionally harmed libertine a person who leads a immoral life immoral means um not moral okay so uh, a person who is living a immoral life is called libre libertine so i'll i'll tell you so to, to pass the end school like you know uh, if you um if you have to it's a very urban word first of all librinate and it would be if you are um, you know uh, if you are librinate you tend to you tends to be very um, have a immoral immoral approach a immoral life and you uh, there is no right and wrong in your life so that is why it's called immoral life martyr martyr uh, means who has sacrificed and who has died for a noble cause like if someone has uh, for like our soldiers who has given their de given their life uh, for us our martyrs mercenary one who does something for the sake of money so um, generally all this uh, goons and terrorists and all are mercenaries because they do anything for the sake of money 
Miss Tenorop, one who hates mankind. So, um, uh, means like if you can see this funny uh, image also, I ain't a racist. I'm a Mr. Mr. Rop, Miss Tenorop means uh, racist means you are um, you are hating other races, but Mr. means you hate the whole mankind. So. Misogamist means one who hates institution of marriage, who does not uh, believe in institution of marriage and hates it is called misogamist. Misologist, one who hates knowledge. There are a lot of people I have seen who hate knowledge and does not afraid to acquire it, so they are called misologist. Namesake, a person having same name as another. So <clears throat> there was a movie also, uh, Namesake. So, yeah, namesake movie was also there. So, actually, namesake means a person or a thing that has same name as another. Means like um, two people having same name, they are called, or two things having same name are called namesake. <coughs> Narcissist. So, uh, if you have um, uh, read history, uh, you must be very familiar with uh, this word. Um, Narcissist was. A uh, lot of lot time used for a lot of people who uh, queens especially or kings especially who have been uh, have an inflated sense of self uh, importance. They give so much importance to us or love for self. They generally are not uh, good rulers. No voice. No voice. Sorry. <clears throat> no voice means. A person who is inexperienced in anything means he he's a learner or he's be very um, you know inexperienced in a job or in a situation. A person who is entered uh, maybe a religious order or a um, under provision, so he'll be new. No voice, no voice. Okay, that word is confusing me. Okay, so new new message means one who collect coins. So uh, this is kind of a hobby I've gone come through a lot of people who collect coin for their hobby. They're called numesist. Omnivorous. Omnivorous who eats everything. Apparently all human beings are omnivorous. We eat plants also. We eat animals also. So we are omnivorous. Optimist. A person who look at bright side of a thing. Optimist will be always a positive thinker, will always think the bright or maybe there is a proverb called uh, the, you know, the silver lining. So, they will always be seeing the silver lining of a bad situation also. Orphan. Orphan would be someone who has lost uh, their parents and they don't have any guardian. They are called orphans. Philanthropist means one who loves mankind. Miss is doing a lot of work for uh, humanity, human, and they have a lot of foundations. Generally, uh, there are a lot of people nowadays, celebrities who are becoming philanthropists like uh, Bill Gates and uh, Prenka Chopra. Phylogenist, one who speaks many languages. Multilingual people can be called phylogenist. Apparently, in India, a lot of people are multilingual, especially in the southern part of the country. It's called phylogenist. Pacifist, one who hates war, love peace. So the person who hate war, like Mahatma Gandhi who doesn't want to have a war, a person who wants to have a peaceful way of any argument called pacifist. Pessimist, one who looks at the dark side of life. Optimist, as I said, will be seeing the positive side. Pessimist will be seeing the only the negative side. Even though good things will be happening to him, he'll always see the negative side of that good thing. Philandader, one who is amuses oneself by love making. So Philandader who is um, be will be very happy or enjoying himself by uh, love making. Philistine, a Philistine, one who does not uh, care of art and literature. So Philistine will be a person who has no regard for art or literature. Posthumous. A child born after the death of father or a book published after the death of author or a award received after the death of recipient. So very much 
you can uh, understand by this three that if a if a boy or if a kid is born after his uh, death of his father of a dot or father or a book is published after the death of the author or if a award is received after the death of recipient so it's called posthumous <clears throat> philatelist one who collects stamps so uh, people see in special uh, special days there a lot of governments especially in england and india i've seen they um, they you know uh, release uh, special stamps there are a lot of people who are philatelist and they collect the stamps pedestrian one who goes on foot so if you go in road you will see there will be a pedestrian way means person who is going to buy food will be walking in that road reclaws one who lives in seclusion so see this is uh, a very good word i'll tell you about it so reclaws means a person who is living solitary life or tends to avoid other person uh, so he'll be reclaws like there are a lot of people who had take uh, does not enjoy social life and they maybe um, keep a low profile they will call it close saddest a person who feel pleasure by helping by others a person who uh, love to create something and you know maybe hurt others in in a way and be be feel pleasure about it they call saddest samatrian one who helps the needy and helpful just a positive saddest samatrian would be someone who will be helping needy and helpless and will be finding pleasure in helping others so my nebulist a person who walks in sleep so who have a uh, sleep walk or have that problem they call from nebulist sotic a person who is indifferent to pain and pleasure of life a person who is indifferent indifferent to pain and pleasure of life means see this is a this is a you know um good word so like this is very interesting a person who in who can endure pain understand this a person who can endure pain or hardship without showing feeling or complaining so it means a person who is indifferent to pain and pleasure of like he's he's same if he's happy he's be reacting in the same way if he's in uh, pain he'll react in the same way it's called stat that's an interesting word is called swashbuckler a boastful fellow so swashbuckler if you have um no it's um uh, you remember this um uh, this uh, robin hood i think he is uh, so swashbuckler would be a boastful fellow who boast about him is called, will be called swashbuckler tittoler tittoteller one who does not take any intoxicating drugs means if you don't drink smoke take any kind of drug technically you are a teetotaler <clears throat> termogent a noisy quarrelsome woman a shrew so a pers- a woman who uh, cruel very much and noisy and bitchy maybe he's called termogent to rent one who remains absent from duty without permission if you are if you are taking a leave without per, you know taking permission from your boss or maybe in if you are in school or studying it from your principal or teacher is called to rent to per short one who is a habitual drunkard one who drinks in frequent basis and in a habitual basis called to per a short oxirious one who extremely fond of one's wife if someone loves their wife too much they call oxrius veteran generally veteran are called to military uh, uh, people who has served their country one who has a long experience of occupation called veteran we call veteran actor but veteran will be called generally to the military or army versatile one who adapts to oneself ready to various situation a versatile would be a person who is performing very good in any kind of situation and generally adapts and it will be very immediate and very fast in any kind of situation will be versatile vito so a one who is brilliant performer on stage means like any kind of artist who is brilliant performer on stage will be vito so like there is himamalini 
with a very good dancer and also a very good actor then they would be uh, uh, they would be you know voinist uh, piano uh, who is playing piano or maybe a uh, playing a violin or something a very good performer will be vitroso volunteer if you are offering your service selfly if you're volunteering for uh, you know if you're offering any uh, your own service by your own call volunteering verbos a style face of difficult word so again after some time there is an interesting word verbos so as it says uh, verbos meaning a style face in difficult word means you're using or exp express expressing in more words that are needed are called verbos you're not very precise you're giving very lengthy answers to make make them understand right right now i am doing so i uh, make you people understand or expressing myself so you can understand so that is called verbos so that was the end of the slide i hope this will be helpful for you thank you for uh, watching this video please subscribe to our channel thank you